Hello, everybody. Right, I recently um, did the cartography expedition. Now, a good friend of mine, Phil Turner, cracking drummer, um, he was watching it and he, he said basically it was rather confusing. Now, the expeditions, really, they're just. You just need to hit milestones. It doesn't really give much information, you know. You're doing things without any sort of context, if you know what I mean. So I thought what I'd do, I'd do a series of the normal playthrough from the start. But rather than just do normal, I'm going to go for permadeath. So when I die, my save's deleted. I'll leave all the the settings as they are. I know they're a lot more restricting on on the permadeath side than normal. For example, your your inventory slots can take I think it's nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine on a normal save. I'm not sure what they are in permadeath. Probably a couple of hundred, three hundred, something like that. Maybe we'll find out. I will try and do more of the main story because that's not something I'd do a great deal. I mean, I've played this for hundreds and hundreds of hours and I generally just end up um, building bases. <laughs> right, now, when you first start off, your toxic protection, which is the top one, that's nearly down. Bottom is your life support. And got your multi tool. Now, if you press your thumbstick down, you'd normally have a surface scan, but that's broken, so I need 75 ferrite dust. But what I'm going to do, because I know the game, is what, what you're supposed to do is get sodium to, to fix your, your scanner. Before I do that, this is probably the most dangerous part right at the start. If you don't know the game, it's easy to die now. But if you go into a cave, it will teach you this later on, not too far in the future. No, oh, that says I can hear as this floor or somewhere. Oh, there it is. Let's get that. Um, if you go into a cave system, your hazard protection will go off. Now, some things you might be undercover, but it doesn't count as a cave. If there's stalactites and stalagmites, it's a cave. That's where you get cobalt. But as you can see, it's unidentified because you haven't got any scanners or analysis. Right, so my well, answer protection is now up to full. So let's come out the cave and I can start getting ferrite dust so rocks you get ferrite dust some rocks you get uh, pure ferrite those are large rocks plants you get carbon carbon ferrite dust and copper for chromatic metal used to make chromatic metal those are things that Certainly at the start, you're going to use a lot of. Carbon recharges your mining beam. So I've got 24% on that. So let's get a load of carbon. Uh, this is something else that you do need to get. This is everywhere. Uh, Dehydrogen pistols. Right, so, we get a few more ferrite dust. Right, I've got enough now to fix the scanner. So, 
how to fix or install things, all you do in the VR version. Slightly different controls, different slightly if you're playing flat. Click on your inventory and you can go between your exosuit where you can charge up your hazard protection or your life support. Starship, which we haven't found yet. Your multi tool. Now, if you go on, see that's in red with the exclamation mark because that's damaged. So you just click on that. I've got the 75 ferrite dust. And it's, it's easy enough to fix and install stuff. So now, if you press the left thumbstick in, you do a surface scan. So you can see where shit is. Uh, H is the hydrogen. Na is sodium, which you need for your hazard protection. Obviously, O2 is oxygen. So the see some. These plants oh, need to charge up your gun. Mining beam takes carbon. So I didn't have enough to full, fully charge it. So I could do with getting a load more. So there's your sodium plants. And these, these plants, you just blast with your mining thing. The oxygen and the sodium, you'll see a little grab symbol and you just literally press your button and grab and pull. It's, you'll soon get used to it. Some more sodium up there. Right, I will fill up my hazard protection just to show you. Prefer to not use this if I can help it uses for emergencies always you know if, if you see a, a place to go in and like a cave to go in just give you as a protection the top up there we go see that so that's it filled it up not fully let's say you know there we go once you fill your as a protection up with sodium then you get a signal from your starship at the start there's a few scripted things like that for example once you get to your ship when you need the hematic seal to fix the pulse engine i believe it is you'll get coordinates and then not long after that you'll get a storm a severe storm which will force you underground obviously i've already been underground to, to recharge my hazard protection because i you know obviously i know the game a bit right so that's where my ship is i need hazmat gauntlets for them see i can't I've got no analysis for us, so I can't um, scan things and get money. If you want to, sorry, if you want to check, if you click on inventory, now go to multiple, go to any of the empty slots, and you can see what you can install. I can install a shield, a bolt caster, analysis, no analysis for us, I only needs carbon nanotubes. So, Put that in, go to an inventory slot, I need I need some more carbon. Because I I filled up the money lines with the lot of it, didn't I? So let's shoot some plants. Uh my hazard protection's going low, so is there a cave? Looks like a cave system there. Condensed carbon is more efficient to use than carbon. Oh, no, it's not a cave. It's just a... Right, so I'm going to use Resodium. Let's get some more. So, recharge. Technology 
There we go. So I'll walk towards my ship and I'll get some uh, get some stuff, get some sodium. So I should be able to make carbon nanotubes there. Once I've got that, I can start analysing stuff. So, get to inventory, get to an empty slot, make carbon nanotubes, and then get to a multi tool. And that's an analysis file, is that now installed? So what that does, you bring your hand up, press watch it, and now there's lots of things you can analyse. All the little creatures, all the plants, so you got like a thousand for that. Um, at the start, you don't get good money for analysing things, but once you've upgraded analysis files eh? you can get like hundreds of th I mean like these creatures here okay, then let's see what we get for this so we've got 3,000 units for that you can get hundreds of thousands for each creature you'll also see things like bedding technology those are mineral deposits Lots of different things that you can uh, you can analyse, but let's get to my ship first. Oh, oxygen plants there. If you. If you analyse everything on the planet, I think you get. I can't remember what you get now. You get something, anyway. Right, let's pick up the oxygen. So it's got a little grab symbol, so you know you don't shoot it. You just hold your grab button and pull. Let's get in my ship. And now my hazard protection will go up. If you're in a building, in a cave, or in your ship, your hazard protection will go up. Right, iteration 4924G online. Atlas connection intermittent. This is all the same every time it starts. Launch thrusters offline, pulse engine offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of it before. But this ship at least seems to recognise me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I'm not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Whatever you do there with your read log or connect exosuit, it'll come through to the same thing, basically. Pilot should perform maintenance, yeah. Self-guided repair protocols, blah, 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 blah. Right. So again, you get to your inventory. Now you go into your starship, and you've got your launch thrusters damaged and your pulse engine damaged. So for the launch thrusters you need pure ferrite, 50 pure ferrite and one dehydrogen jelly. Probably got enough to do dehydrogen jelly because we've shot a load of dehydrogen crystals. So I can fix that bit straight away. Now pure ferrite, you get that by refining ferrite dust. Now, I need a metal plate in there. I know I need a metal plate to, to to make my personal refiner. So I need two metal plates. Right, so I've got two metal plates done. And I've still got 76 ferrite dust. I mean, you, say, oh, you can get 500, 500 in a slot instead of 9,999. Not too bad. So, if you go to the build menu, I'm going 
they need oxygen and metal fighting, which I've got. So fuel, again, condensed carbon is more efficient than normal carbon. Then you select what you want to refine, which is ferrite dust. It's a pure ferrite, it's one to one. So we'll get 76 pure ferrite. I needed 50, was it, for, to, build, to fix my ship? I needed 50 pure ferrite. So, uh, while that's while that's doing, let's just get a bit more ferrite. So we will always need ferrite dust. Oh, and I can. Got to keep an eye on my hazard protection. I'm oh, sorry, not the hazard protection. The life support. That's getting very low. Um, you oh, use oxygen for that. So, quick menu, recharge, live support. Do a surface scan, see if there's any oxygen close by. Put some over there. Get some ferrite dust as I make the way over. More often than not, when you start a new game, you'll be in a, a system that nobody's been in before. Occasionally, somebody's been there. And I prefer to start off at a totally new system. Though there was something here, wasn't there? Oh, there we go. Oh, look, a little... A little tiny thing. See, those crystals, I need advanced mining laser, so that's something I've got to work towards. See, I've, I've only got enough carbon to put it up to t is it 26%. So, at the start, carbon and ferrite dust are your main things especially carbon it, when you start doing bases and all you can build is wood that uses a lot of carbon right, let's oh Sometimes you'll have plants or rocks that look exactly like other ones. Oh! That's underground, I think. There's an entrance into a cave here. Toxic protection is nearly fucked, so it'd be nice to try and get all the, the animals right. Let's pick up a few pure ferrite. You know, come into the ship, and my toxic protection will be going up. Uh, right, this is the system I'm in. Five planets, uh, discovered today by me, so nobody's been here before. So let's let's name it. There we go, Sitson Smith. And the planet we're on. Planet Wolfie Smith, there we go. 
you can see fungal mold is on here, magnetized ferrite, ammonia and copper. Uh, six, six animals, uh, three I've found ground. That's probably that one that I've, I saw over there underground. These reasonably startle creatures show a heightened sense of fear. Um, yeah, it's a very odd looking thing. A scared. What the feck? <laughs> little crabby thing uh, two livers group feeders collect leaves from local plant life each and the whole there can be satisfied Floating crab, this frog's been scanned. Oh, press one button then. I was going to put shy crabby, but it's just called shy now. Oh well. Right, damage machinery. You can get some good stuff from these. But I got that lights. Now this is gonna tell me where to go for my emetic soil. Uh scenario iteration, blah de blah de blah deleted, boundary separation, found near likely. Vessel sixteen emptied, cause central intervention, delivered transfer. Analysis fresh iteration generated, which I think is me. Anomaly contained and prepared. Obviously, going to click on broadcast because if you leave, there's no point in clicking on it to start with. Uh, broadcast received. Traveller anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant, position logged. System integrity scan initialised. Oh, maybe uh, let's fix the uh, metal plating. So now I just need the metric seal and my ship sorted. Actually, before I before I go, yeah, 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 yeah. But now I'm since I'm required components, pull sender requires a metric seal. Click on request assistance. Uh, iteration composed to reveal a metric seal nearby, salvage plans which are from this distress beacon cache. So, before I do that, oh, just if I press the right thing, right, going to rename my ship. There you go. The Eagle of Retribution. Right now, it'll give me a planetary chart. If you look on your in your inventory, just press X on that, and there's the coordinates. <coughs> so you make your way there. As I said, you will have you will have an extreme storm there because that's to show you that you need to take shelter in caves or buildings nozzle get some shit while I'm early morning but maybe out
There we go. You'll see when the storm hits how quickly that hazard protection goes down. Now it looks like there might be an entrance to a cave there. Although it's not much of one, it will count. Hazardous flora generally gives you oxygen in case and tons of sodium. And these, these will give you cobalt. So if ever you need cobalt, well, we got some. Uh, Humming sacks here, where you'll get album and pearls, which is used in crafting or generally for selling. Right, my hazard protection is full, so I'm gonna ignore the storm. Oh, come on, you little shit. There we go and uh, make my way to the shelters. It's always the shelter for your rheumatic tail. See, there's something there. Is that underground? No, animals. Oh, no, there we go. If it's got a red dot, that means you haven't, you haven't scanned them yet. Sodium, let's pick that up. Is there another cave? No. What? Could have waited for the storm to, to uh, finish, but. Oh, yeah, that's clearly me. My life support close. You can either do it through the quick menu or you can get to your just onto your exit suit. Get a shitload of carbon. <coughs> oh, there's a one of these. Oh, there we go. It looks the same as the others. But it was un unidentified. So now my toxic rise of protection will go up. Six out of seven logs corrupted. Accessing our archive. Entry 4924A follows. No one. Making this recording in case. Leaving behind in the fabricator. Might be of some use. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. Recover supplies and it'll give me a matic soon. Log finishes and the machine wears till I've spitted out supplies and the matic seal I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Let me just check how we're doing for time. 
30 minutes. Right, so now I can fix my ship and I can go flying. Want some plants. News analysis finds the locate starship. There we go. You can take it so it's always in. Oh, that's a weird look. I haven't named him. Oh, I like a little... A little deer with lights on his back. Lamp right there. There we go. So the only thing I'm missing now is an underground. There's an underground animal. Now, if you find all the animals, you can uh, upload them for loads of nanites. Well, let's search these boxes. What have we got? We've got some sodium from that. These are usually projectile. Oh, my own batteries, that's actually that's more than that. Oh, he wants me to check out me. Well, I've already, obviously, I've already done that, so I think I've. So it's really hazardous floor out. Scorpion one, but I've already, already done that. Right, let's go and find a scorpion. Looking to see if I can see any underground creature as soon as a cow system coming up. fact let's go in and recharge my toxic protection well, I'm not far from the ship see what well, there is an underground creature so something in here that I haven't analysed to get that message up. Oh, here we go. All I did five plants. So you can see the creatures that I've found. I can't see a red dot from what that happened. They notice when you're running, like standing still and your health stays the same. So when you're moving, you've got the, the one triangle, it's going down slightly. If you run, it gets to two. If you're using your jetpack, your life support goes down a lot quicker. 
Well, you will use your jetpack a lot. fixed I've got to fix the uh, well I've got enough pure ferrite there we go just leave the ship now that will save it You're, it always saves when you leave the ship so just bear with me a second pardon for that I woke up yesterday morning, New Year's Day, feeling great, and by midday, I was sneezing me head off. Uh, right, life support, let's get that filled up. So now, let's have a little bit of a fly about. Let's have a look. See if I can find any buildings. Every time you take off, you use launch thruster fuel. Um, when you first start off, you can only take off a couple of times before you have to uh, recharge that. If you find a building with a landing pad, which you'll see like a green green circles, they don't take they don't cost anything to to launch from. We've got a building here, but what is it? Oh, there we go. Right, let's do another pass. So you can see there the uh, the landing marker. Oh, no, I think I was going a bit faster. Pull that in the middle, that's why. So it won't cost me anything to take off from here. All system functional, sea cancers amongst the stars, where well, he wants me to go up into space. Uh, first off, let's have a chat with this geezer here. Now, I haven't learnt any words, so I'm not going to have a clue what he's on about. Small creatures, busy adding up trade profits when I pay out, sensing me that always wind in anticipation and they rub their fingers together greedily. Now, as you learn the language, these words become something you can understand. Uh, the life form pecks emphatically at the monetary figures on their pad, then bounces up and down. A pleasant aroma fills the air, a relief after the harsh reek of ammonia that cloaks as well. Uh, tap the pad, give them units. I'm going to give them some units, see what happens. My forms clearly thrilled, they give me a piece of technology in exchange. So I've got an upgrade. Right, so. It's a C class upgrade. Starship phase beam. I don't think I've, have I got a phase beam on my ship. I've got a rocket launcher, photo cannon, I've got a phase beam. But, you know, when I do, it's. Well, I can flog it. Right, this is an observe Gek Observatory. 
Uh, the life form that works all worked in this installation left its equipment scanning the skies for interesting new systems and spatial phenomena. In its absence, it struck gold. A beacon has been received and a transmission sequence awaits response. These are usually pretty straightforward. 1212, 2121, 1212. I think it could be 2121. I'll discover a location within the distant stars. An ancient ruin off planet. So let's go there. Oh, locked door. I can't go in there yet. What I will do, I will do this little chart. It'll put a save in, but it'll chart. It'll chart the area, and you usually get navigation data. So, just fly up to leave the planet. Now those faint lines you can see there, those are actually trade routes. So if you follow those down, you'll get to a, a trade centre. Asteroids, which you will find floating around. The large ones give you gold and silver. Sometimes pythium. When you find small little asteroids, those give you trithium, which you need for your pulse engines. Yeah, that's small enough. That will probably give you trithium. There we go. Let's get a little bit because I don't want to run out. So where is this? Uh, I think the planet's beyond ah, ancient ruins. It's beyond this planet, so I need to basically just engage my pulse engine. There we go. Now we see. Oh, incoming message. Let's get that first. Click on your kept your quick menu, start your communicator. Incoming transmission. Source 4925B. Please identify yourself. I'm uh, I'm gonna identify myself. You are not alone. Follow the something broadcast sends a strategy it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Input coordinate data. So that will give me somewhere to go. It's on the planet I've just left on planet Wolfie Smith. But before that, I'm going to go and get to the ancient ruin. That's an unknown planet. An Arctic planet, ancient bones, frost crystal, copper, dark sides, and sodium. Go to a pulse engine instead of taking hours. It's going to take 20 seconds. Now, I like renaming everything, you don't need to. I, mean, I don't rename the rocks apart from when we were playing the multiplayer with my main DJ and he shot me. So I named all the rocks, DJ's killed me, don't trust DJ. <laughs> and the funny thing is, people will come along onto that planet, obviously not have a clue what it's about, but they'll know not to trust DJ. Oh, that, no, that's, there's the ancient ruby, but there's also a monolith here. Right, let's get. I just saw the ancient ruin, no point because I haven't got a drone manipulator. 
fat. I can't blast into the ground, so I can't co collect what I want to collect. I will get to Rome manipulator soon. Let's have a look at this one with the on there. Now, because I'm just landing on the ground, it will cost me fuel to recharge. Right, these are knowledge stones. Just find these around. Oh, look at him, little tiny, little tiny kangaroo there. In now. <laughs> Knowledge stones gives you words of the language. The first word you get is the name of the species, so I will get the word gek with this. <coughs> Pardon me. Hi, hi, hi. Voy, voy, voy. The stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. The vision begins to take shape. A small alien life form kneels before me. They are tired, beaten. Without me to my gaze, they offer up their hand. Accept knowledge. The name Gek floats into my vision, an echo of the strange vision I've just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. Now, buildings like this, you usually get three knowledge stones. So, I've learned the Gek word for friend, and Gek word for the. Let's get. Let's get myself some animals sorted. I've still got one to get on Planet Wolfie Smith. Again, I might not be able to, I'm going to have to take a guess on this probably because I can't speak Gek yet. The ashes of the Ladila Nibis. A small winged creature lands on the very top of the monolith. Suddenly its eyes glow red and its head revolves in a full circle. It screams for mercy in an ancient voice that wants itself dead. The poor animal has clearly broken its neck, but some power of possession still animates it. So I've got a couple of words. Nisagacho, the gek, whatever, 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 the, the. Uh, I'm not going to leave it to suffer, I'm going to shoot it. The poor winged creature is no more, the monolith is pleased and rewards my actions, I'm released from my vision. So I've got a Gek Relic and my standings increased with the Gek. Gek Relic she can give to Geks to you know uh, improve your standing. Obviously because it's a new planet every, oh, everything is unidentified. I'm going to go up to the uh, signal source there. Before I do that, let's get to the planet. So you've got the planet Wolfie Smith. So this is the planet Ken. There's 11 animals on it. I've found six. So that's like a deer skin para additional design skin parasites. That looks almost like a fin. Uh, well, it's got parasites. Mangy. Findea. Okay, you don't have to, but you see, you get once you've got everything, you get a load of nanites. But I, I like to. 
I like to uh, name the stuff. Uh, discovered on Planet Ken where they make their own roots the ice. Da -da -da. Uneasy caution in the face of novelty. Untrusting the strangers. Tapeworm mouse for young man Banji as well. Bangi. Wormy. No more wormy. And these things you seem snuffling about, so I've I've already got names for a lot of these things, yeah, sort of genetic names, but uh that I use. A wormy stuff like there you go. Six legged wolfy looking thing. Symmetrical insides, jerking on balance in its movements. Its unusual brain chemistry leaves it prone to the outbursts of aggression. Jerk wolf, jerky wolf. I, mean, I, I don't go into any uh, great detail in naming them. Uh, looks like a Parrot, superheated stomach. Superheated, so it's probably anglicotic, wouldn't it? Foul parrot. Poor sense of direction. Well, that's going to be the last Kanga there. So we've got a bit of a mix between Kangaroo and Adair. And I think she's got the legs of a chicken. That's a the search for nuts, the lot, so it likes its nuts. A nutty what the fuck. What the fuck? Because it, it won't let you put certain words in. Just keep it on the time. Oh no, I've only got seven minutes left. Balls. It goes to. That's the thing with this game, I will say. I don't have enough fuel in the fuel launcher. I want to get to the coordinates before they end the stream. Um, time does fly in this game. Right, well, what do I need for launch fuel? I need dehydrogen jelly and metal plating. But I've got enough to make metal plating. I can make dehydrogen jelly. Oh no, oh I didn't need the hydrogen gel, I needed the hydrogen. Fat. Right, let's do a quick scan. So luckily the hydrogen is pretty abundant. Because this will only save an hour onto my hard drive. Into the PlayStation hard drive. So if I go past an hour, then the very start of the stream is going to be lost. So I want, you know, I don't want to go over an hour. Right, let's... When you're in the ship, if you go to quick thing, you'll only do ship systems. So go to my inventory. Click on Exosuit. There we go. I could. Oh, I've got no oxygen. Oh shit. I need oxygen. Um, right, I can make me launch fuel now. But I do need oxygen. There's some there. That's a trouble. It's, it's easy to forget that then. All of a sudden, you, your life support's virtually finished and you've got no bloody oxygen. So, 
Oh, there's hazardous floor there. Hazardous floor gives you... It's trapped in the rock. Oh, there we go. Gives you oxygen. Any more close by? No, but that, that should... I'm up to about 50%. Right, so I'll get to the coordinates. Oh, no, I'll fill all course, dog. That's what I was doing. Right, click on launch thruster. There we go. So normal flying speed, that's going to take what? Take me an hour? Right. There we go. 57 minutes, I've got 3 minutes. Well I'll get to the site and then we'll look at the signal. Uh, the next stream. Uh, that's weird. It looks like a smashed up spy station. Did it? It's not showing me. I know it's a normal space station, but it's not showing up on my. Um, what's maybe it's too close. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it inside here. I'll go to the signal source after. Just quickly show you here. Uh, got two minutes, so literally, right. When you come out your ship, will always save. I will go over what's in the space station of the next stream. I'm going to call that a day. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's, you know, uh, Phil, I hope you've, uh, it makes more sense to you now. There's a hell of a lot still to do. Obviously, this is just the very beginning. You've just got your ship sorted. But, uh, right. Um, I hope you're all having a good day. All the best for the new year. Take care and I will see you soon. Try